Speaking of March movies, you know, March has been for me fantastic so far. Saw Creed 3, thought it was great. Saw Scream 6, which I'm not even a big Scream fan. And I didn't quite like it as much as 5, but damn, I had a good time. I had a good time watching Scream 6. And both Creed and Scream set franchise records for box office openings for them, which is fantastic success. Went to go see Shazam, Fury of the Gods, which we're going to talk about a lot today. But I, whatever else we're going to talk about Shazam, I had fun. Mm -hmm. I like this movie. Again, not quite as much as the first one, but I liked it. So kind of firing on all cylinders for March. So then I went in to watch Dungeons and Dragons. I was very pessimistic about this movie when they first announced it. Uh, partially because the first one back in 2000 with Jeremy Irons was utter garbage. But then, and then you think, well, what can you do with it? All this kind of stuff. Now they showed us the first previews for it at CinemaCon last year. And we were like, hold up. This kind of looks like fun. And all the trailers that have come since have been really quite good. So I, I've been, do I dare get my hopes up? Now, I then reached out the day, I think it was Saturday morning. I reached out to a buddy of mine, Kyle Newman. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kyle Newman is the director of that awesome movie, Fanboys. Uh, he just did the Amazon film One Up. He's directed, he and Joe Manganiello are directing a Dungeons and Dragons documentary coming out. Kyle has two bestsellers Dungeons and Dragons books. One of them is a Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. And he plays in Joe Manganiello's Hollywood famous, the most famous the most Dungeons and Dragons game in the D &D world. Most group. Yeah, Ugh. he's in that D&D &D group. So I, I texted my buddy Kyle and I'm like, hey, have you seen the D&D &D movie yet? Because I know, because I, when I talked to him a few months ago, I know he was kind of pessimistic about the movie too. He, mm -hmm. he was not, he didn't have high hopes. So I reached out to him on Saturday morning. I'm like, did you see it? And he got back to me. He, got, he immediately, put, it's awesome. He's like, he was like, I'm like, okay. So Ray, me, and Ann go to see it the other night, yesterday, with a special, uh, what was it, an Amazon Prime yep. member special advanced screening. Went to go see it. I had a blast. I had an absolute blast watching this movie. It's written and directed by the same guys who did Game Night, which I think Game Night is one of the most tragically underviewed comedies of the past decade. Like, that movie is fantastic. By the way, side note, these two guys who did Game Night, they were also going to do the Flash movie until they had enough of Ezra Miller and they decided to leave. Uh, but then they went on to do Dungeons and Dragons. This has the quick wit, the wonderful, funny dialogue, the sharp pace, the in instantly endearing characters that you came to expect from the guys who did Game Night. Like there, It felt very much like it had the Game Night DNA in it. Chris Pine is fantastic. Uh, Justice Smith is absolutely wonderful. I've never liked Michelle Rodriguez more than in this. And it's a, it's a, listen, she doesn't have tons of dialogue because that's part of the character, but that almost made her character more challenging to play, I would think. And I don't know who plays the druid. I don't know the young girl's name. Maybe you can look that up for me, Taylor. The Are girl you talking who about plays... Sophia Lillis? What's her name? Sophia, Sophia Lillis, Lillis from It. Yeah. Oh, that's right, from mm -hmm. It, right. She's wonderful in this. I And this, to me, is kind of the year of Hugh Grant because I just saw him in, uh, what was that damn guy, Richie movie? Operation, uh, Operation Fortune. Fortune. And he stole the show in Operation Fortune. And I, I completely loved him in this too. And here's the biggest surprise to me for this Dungeons and Dragons movie. The action is shockingly good. The fight scenes... There's there's a, a fight scene in this, and you'll see what I'm talking about when you see the movie. That is the best lightsaber fight I've seen in a long time. <laughs> um, but the fight choreography is great. Michelle Rodriguez has a couple of key set action pieces, like a couple of big set piece action pieces. And she's fantastic. It's awesome. She's fabulous in it. Um, will this end up being in my top 10 favorite movies of the year? Maybe. It, it might. Like a lot of times I'll come out of a movie that I really like, say I had a great time. You know, I'm not going to be in my top 10 favorite movies of the year. This could, it, it, I mean, we got a lot of movies to come, but I had an absolute joyous, wonderful time watching this movie. I had an absolute blast. You know what's fun, Ray? When I put up our out of the theater reaction yes, uh, last night, 
all the comments, all, almost all the comments were like, yep, we saw it today too. Family had a blast. Everybody's talking about how much of a good time they had. Now, don't expect any Oscar wins for this movie or anything, but it's a good time. Ray, you sat there with me and Ann watching it. What did you think about Dungeons and Dragons? Like Taylor was saying after he saw it, like he just wanted to watch or play Dungeons and Dragons and me too. Like the the characters, the different characters, they made him so different that I, I you, you, you had to love each one. Yeah. Like for what they did for the unit. Like I, I just love the the team aspect of it, and Chris Pine was great. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez was probably my favorite character. It's crazy because I'm not a big fan of hers e either. I mean, from from her previous stuff, but she was great in it. I love like from the get go, she she starts kicking butt. Like you know <laughs> what I mean. Um, but like uh, Justice uh, Smith, yep, he was great too. And and that that what's her name, Sophie Lillis. Lilith. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was. Fantastic. Her her character had some scenes in there where I was blown away. Like I was like, this movie had some effects that were so cool. Like especially with her, and I I can't wait for everyone to see it. I mean, even if you're not a Dungeons and Dragons fan, just take the family there with you. It's a great movie to watch with like your family. Like it's a it's a good family movie. I there's also an, a big Easter egg in this movie that not everybody will catch. But if you catch it, it'll put Did a I catch it? huge. No, you didn't. We talked about it coming out of the theater, though. I'm not. I'm not going to say what it was. But we talked about it coming out of the theater. I turned to Anne instantly when it came up. I'm like, that's blah blah blah, and it just totally mm -hmm. put a smile on my face. There's one or two kind of cool cameos uh, in the movie as well. Um, just had a, a great time. And I'll tell you what, they're near the end. Get getting closer to the end of the film. There's a scene where I'm like, I'm going to turn to Anne right now and she's going to have tears in her eyes. And I sure enough, I turn to Anne and her eyes are all watering and she's like her lips quivering a little bit. There, there's like a couple of beautifully sentimental scenes in it that, uh, yeah, man, I just, I had a blast at it. it again, it, this type of a fantasy fair kind of movie and, and the humor and comedy it's probably not going to be for every. I don't expect everyone to love this movie. I, I really don't. It's not going to be for everybody, and that's understandable. But it's incredible seeing the responses to it so far. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to see the Dungeons & Dragons movie yet? If so, what did you think? If not, what are your expectations going into it? Are you planning on seeing it? I don't know how well this is going to do at the box office. I don't know if it's going to appeal to enough people, but I recommend you see it. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your Thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Fume. Be smart. Don't start. Kick the habit. Put it out before it puts you out. All phrases we've heard a hundred times yet, we still continue to have bad habits. And I know all of you guys completely relate with me when I say kicking bad habits feel like it's impossible. Well, thankfully, our sponsor Fume is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. And understand, Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. Instead of pods filled with potentially harmful chemicals like a vape, Fume uses cores infused with plants like peppermint and cinnamon for delicious natural flavors. And Fume's new version 2 model is snappy and tactile. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one, and Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. It's Fume's goal to make switching easy and even enjoyable. They have thousands of five-star reviews from people just like you who've successfully switched when other solutions simply don't work. So head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the Journey Pack today. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors and the new version Tomb Fume to help kickstart your positive habits. That's tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off on your order today.